Welcome back, everyone. If this is your first time here, thanks for stopping by. Yeah. That was a sale. <laughs> yeah. Good. Well, that was a that was a, that was quite the yeah. that was a sale. sale. <laughs> yeah. Hard sale. yeah, it was a very sporty, yeah. hard, fun Good sale. Yeah. yeah. So we've made it over to uh, our first island in the Aegean, actually. Spetses. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> so. so quite the town but we did a hard bail on it because the swell is so bad so we're looking for another anchorage this is Costa so this is where we stayed for the last two nights uh, we bailed on the last spot because it was so swelly and we would have just been rocking and rolling all night and uh, this spot was just across the bay to back to the mainland from the little island of uh, Spetsis and it's quite the island I shouldn't call it little there are uh, mega yachts over there and uh, it's, it's been quite interesting watching them we actually had a helicopter that landed on the beach right in our anchorage that was so cool and I'll put some of that footage here because it was it was cool to watch and uh, so now we're actually continuing our journey on around and furthering north towards Athens. So not going to be quite there today, but uh, in the next few days. We actually got a little bit of a late start this morning. Slept in a little bit, worked on some um, journaling and, and whatnot. So now I'm making coffee and breakfast, which is typically a breakfast burrito and Cass is going to get us going underway. It's pretty mellow right now, so he's just gonna be able to raise the anchor and start motoring up, and then I'll join him for breakfast. And so 
so we have pretty exciting news today. We have a new crew member to introduce. Yeah, cool, huh? Not just me anymore. Let me introduce you to Red. <laughs> Red, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, you know, I was just feeling a little sassy, so I decided to uh, come out and play. Nice. <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, from Utah. What's your sign? Uh, cancer. What's your favorite color? Purple. Not red. <laughs> Not red. It's purple, which maybe this has a little bit of eggplant in it. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe just a little, but I love it. Yep. <laughs> just having a good time. Coros is very beautiful, but very, very busy. There's another boat just uh, anchoring stern two over here. And uh, when we came in, there were six boats trying to stern two. There were several that were trying to cut us off, charter boats. It was chaotic. <laughs> and our anchor didn't stick the first time. So we actually had to go back out, reset the anchor and uh, back, back in. So we got there in the end, but us was a little bit of a challenge. We had a crosswind that uh, was definitely blowing us off. So pay attention to that if you come in here, but it's beautiful and worthwhile. So we also ended up uh, filling up our water, which was definitely necessary. We were getting a little low. We hadn't filled up for about 10 days, roughly in there since uh, Caipericia. So it's been a little bit of a while and we were able to stretch it as long as possible, but <laughs> it was definitely time to top up the tank. So added some water today and we also have electricity so it's pretty reasonable we did have to pay for uh, dock fees this is the first time we've had to do that in two weeks which is great that was our goal to make it around so yay success <laughs> why you follow the signs. We mentioned to the uh, gentleman that checked us in last night who had to pay for the dock fees that we needed fuel and he said that he would send the fuel guy over and we're so excited because he just showed up so we won't have to wait too much longer here on the dock before we can head up to our next port which is Athens. So we're pretty excited. It was just a fuel delivery to the boat similar to uh, what we did in Provisa. Since they have power, it's a perfect opportunity to take time to vacuum. So before we get going, I am using my bigger power vac. Normally I just have to use a little handheld because we don't have power. So enough power to run this vacuum, but take the opportunity when you can. Thank you. 
everyone. So here we are just cruising along. Not a lick of wind. It is just totally glassed off right now. Sometimes you get to sail. Sometimes you just get the donkey running. The donkey, that's what we call the motor. Kicking the donkey. Yeah, pretty much glassed off. Beautiful, but what a great day in Greece. It's pretty epic out here. Now, I don't know if you know this, but the waters in Greece are fairly blue. Now let's check this out. I'm not certain if it's gonna come across or not. But this is sailing in Greece. Yeah, I'm motoring right now. We're like motor sailing. We do have a main sail up, so yeah, there's a little bit of wind in it, but not much to speak of. Actually, there's no wind out here right now at all. <laughs> but hey, what are you gonna do? The cool part is that uh, we made this hard push around the Peloponnese, trying to make it around in a couple of weeks. We have a package in Athens that's uh, waiting for us there. So uh, we had a kind of a time crunch, so we weren't able to do a lot of uh, sightseeing and visiting some of the places that we would have preferred to around the Peloponnese. But off of the distance, I know you can't probably see it very good. It's a little hazy right now, but that's Athens. So we're on our very last leg around the Peloponnese coming into Athens today. We got about three hours left. Should be pretty amazing. Thanks, guys. Peace. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed our video, like and subscribe. And don't forget to join us next week.